Hi everyone! In this video clip we would like to illustrate how scholars from Basel, Liège and Turin are working together at a distance during the lockdown in Europe. Our joint project, called Crossing Boundaries, investigates the incredibly rich written material of the Museo Egizio in Turin. This material comes from the village of Der el Medina, a settlement next to the Valley of the Kings, where the tomb builders of Pharaoh used to live. More specifically, we work on thousands of fragments of papyri that are restored, scanned and documented at the museum. The script on these papyri is called hieratic, which is a cursive version of the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Every hieratic sign corresponds to a hieroglyphic one. Therefore, hieratic text can be rendered in hieroglyphs, which makes it easier for Egyptologists to work with them. This hieroglyphic version of an heretic text is called transcription. Two small case studies we allow us to showcase the methods and tools that we use. So let's start with the fragment of the teaching of Amenemope, a wisdom text composed around 1100 BC. Most of our work here focuses on identifying all the fragments that might belong to this manuscript and we try to make sense of their contents before analyzing and encoding them in the Turin Online Papyrus platform. TPOP was designed as a collaborative platform which allows constant updating of data. The object section provides information about the papyri and the text written on them, as well as high resolution photographs. Each fragment is listed with inventory number, information about the state of preservation, and other data about its materiality. The writing section provides information about the content of the text and features of the writing. If a fragment contains a known text, it is possible to identify which one it is by using digital resources. To do so, we pick a word we can read, ideally one which is not too common. In our case, it is the word hepep. We try to identify our text by looking for known compositions which contain that word in our database, for example, the Thesaurus Linguae Egyptiae. When searching for our word, this database shows all the texts containing hepep. We can then compare if any of the results matches with the other words on our papyrus fragment. In our case, it worked, and we can thus identify the text as a part of the teaching of Amenemope. The handwriting of a specific scribe is often recognizable because everyone has the individual way to write a sign. The study of ancient handwriting is called paleography. Paleography is an important tool for identifying fragments of the same manuscript. The fragment of the teaching of Amenemope is a good example. The front and the back were written by different scribes, who both have a very distinctive handwriting with recognizable features, for example, the shape of the eye sign. While browsing through the unidentified fragments, it was possible to find a tiny, very similar looking fragment. On the back side, the distinctive eye sign immediately calls to mind the one that we just saw. This leads us to hypothesize that the teaching of Amenemope and a small fragment might belong to the same document. After a quick verification of the content, it appears that the tiny fragment is indeed a part of another chapter of the same text, and thus must be a part of the same papyrus. Although the fragments do not join together directly, paleography was the key to identifying fragments belonging to the papyrus. <laughs>